right then guys the Revo of the Naturike Monga oh yeah this is going to be a good one guys definitely excited about this one yeah so I bought a new tent and uh, yeah I seen this one online and I thought I like the look of that. That looks pretty sexy, so just had to get it. Just couldn't let this one uh, go. Here's the product label. It's actually a grey, a light grey. But I originally thought it was white, but it seems to be a light grey. Let's crack this bad boy open. Get it set up. Here's the post for the tent. Let's take a look at these. Yeah, seems uh, good quality stuff. Yeah, pretty strong. Awesome. Comes with the typical stakes you get from Natrike. Love these pegs. Stakes, awesome. Yeah, they are uh, very similar to the MSR ones. I like the colour of them. Starting to like it already. these bags in my pocket don't want to lose them also comes with a ground sheet for the Naturite Monga 2 tent yeah nice little bonus huh ground mat cool I think I think this uh, is what hangs up on the ceiling on the inner, you can hang stuff up above. I think I'm thinking that's uh, what this is for. Uh, you know what they like prices these nature -like tents, uh, they go up and down all the time, you know, they never stay the same price. So it's no point me talking about uh, prices of this tent because it's going to be different everywhere. Let's get a tent up, guys. There you go in guys, tents up, beautiful looking tent, yeah I like it, uh, I come across one problem, pegs, yeah they only supply me with 10 pegs, but really I need 12, two pegs short, I don't know if I was uh, 
a mistake made in the factory or are you just expecting to get two pegs from somewhere else yourself? A bit strange. But there you go. Yeah. 10 takes 12 pegs. Let's play with 10. Can't do the other guy lines. Oh well. Still a good day. Oh yeah. Right, let's take a for a look inside the tent. Got a Velcro. One by there. One by there. As you can see, it's a windy day today, so yeah, it wasn't easy putting a tent up in this wind. It's blowing a bit of a gale, yeah, so. Right, so I'm inside the tent, guys. Yeah, it's uh, quite roomy inside. Nice and airy. So we got a door on the other side as well. There's a zip down there, you can zip it open. And then the vestibule outside. Yeah, decent uh, space in the vestibule. Got a toggle so you can tie the, the fly back. Same for the inner, the toggle on you. On the outside, you can actually tie uh, the fly around the poles as well, which you can see by there, and I haven't done it. Uh, there's no point really because the tent's only going to be up for 10 minutes. And one our side, same on the back, got the vent, which you can close off as well if you want to, it's all mesh, so yeah this tent is mainly for free season, don't think I'd use it in the winter, probably go to autumn and spring, also above you can store stuff, uh, you could put wet clothes, if you have wet clothes you could put them up here, try and dry them off, good little idea, and you can take this off as well, it's like little clips, there's one there, there's one here, one over here, and one by there, so yeah, it's a nice little touch on us, you got your hook, tying your lamp, Yep, storage down by there. One well, at the back. Yeah, really roomy. So if I lie down now. Alright, so I got a couple of inches. My head's down a couple of inches from top. I still got a few inches on the bottom. Yeah, so should be fine for a six foot person. Yeah, really impressed. It's a stunning looking tent. It's lightweight. Yeah, when I was at home, I weighed some of the items for this tent. The poles, the fly, the inner, the pegs, the ground sheet. Yeah, so I'll give you uh, the weights for them now. I actually weighed the fly in and there, uh, both together. I didn't do them separate, but uh, together for the fly and the inner, they came at one kilo, 170 grams, and the poles was 565 grams. Uh, the pegs, bang on those, 100 grams. Should be a little bit more, because it should be another two pegs with it. God knows how that happened. The ground sheet, that weighs 240 grams. The bag itself, which it comes in, that weighs 30 grams. But I won't be using that. I'm gonna be putting that away in my, in my own sacks, which I'll show you now later. The tent, everything with it. 
pegs, the ground mat, the inner, the outer, guy lines, the chair thing. It all comes to two kilo and 75 grams. I'm not going to take a ground sheet. I decided I want to keep my weight down as much as possible. So, yeah, I'm not going to take that with me. And the pegs, they're in your bag anyway. So, we all got to have pegs. So, I'm not going to cast that in with the weight. So, for me, this tent without the ground sheet will weigh one kilo, 735 grams. And the space inside is incredible. It's definitely enough room for two people. It's a palace for me. I like my palace. I like to live like king. You see me with my pot noodles before. Oh yeah, happy days. So you got a vent on the outside. You can uh, tip that down if you want to and stick it on here. The guy lines. Tensioners made of plastic. Uh, the inner uh, clips on the poles, these clips. And you also have these tension straps which you can use to tighten the fly. And they got these all around, around the tent, so yeah, again, nice and uh, snug. Beautiful tent, absolutely love it. So yeah, I'm gonna plan on using this now throughout summer. Probably on not on every wild camp, but definitely gonna be using it a lot. Yeah, it's not green. I'm not gonna blend in with the environment. It is what it is. But a sexy looking tent. Quality incredible. The stitching all round, amazing. This is a copy of the MSR Hubba NX. That's a great tent, cost 400 quid. The quality of this is nearly on par with that, and this cost me 140 quid. So, yeah, you know it makes sense. <sighs> right then, guys. So I'm not going to put this tent back in the original bag that I come with. I got some, some of my own sacks here. This is uh, a Van Gogh. There's a set of three of these I picked up and these are really lightweight. Um, but in my opinion, these are a little bit big. So I might have to, I think this is like a, a 10 litre or something. So I'm going to have to buy some uh, smaller sacks. So I'm going to stuff this now in the sack and, and see what it's like. The great thing about these dry sacks, uh, you can squash them down and get all the air out. Nice and small, compact. Obviously the fly is going to be wet, the inner is dry, keep them separated. Yeah, to be honest with you guys, the sack's uh, a little bit big. So I'm going to have to order some, some smaller ones by the seams of it. If you just found me searching for the nature hike manga tent, just like the lay you know, I go on adventures while camping, backpacking, hiking. If you like adventures as well, then subscribe. Always on an adventure. 
See you in the next one, guys. Oh, yeah.